uh, a respected professor amrit sen ji a professor naga from northeastern hill university shillong uh, a dear dr noshin and mr ajay kumar sharma ji and all uh, participants who have joined uh, this workshop uh, coming from 15 states of the country uh, it is very much overwhelming for me for uh, that uh, the the topic of the workshop is uh, uh, very much timely and interesting uh, which is closely supporting the needs of contemporary life librarianship librarians and readers that is unlocking knowledge open access solution uh i told nimay ji that my area of interest is public library uh so if we think about uh, the relevance of this topic in terms of public library it is very much outstandingly relevant for librarians working in public libraries because normally public librarians are not having sufficient fund moreover i feel that most of the participants are from academic and special library background so it is always you know for library profession it is always an issue to have adequate funding support and normally we used to we we used to feel a thrust of funds and because of limitation of funds uh, we we try we 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 feel a lot many times that we are sacrificing the quality sacrificing the resources and other things so uh, if we focus on open access e resources or open access solutions then definitely we can provide better support we can provide good count of support and we can we can try to fulfill the desire of our readers with our limited available financial resources so again it's this this program this workshop is very much timely and very much needed for library professionals now what are the e open access solutions or what are the open access e resources uh, in these 5 6 days you are well informed about the concepts relating to these types of resources and solutions definitely it is very much clear that these are the resources where we are not bound to pay a single penny or money in either this is a e resource or this is a solution like software solution or uh, or any other type of uh, uh, support for the library now uh, if you think about me my i am having a very clear approach that the the, the approach which was well supported and conceptualized by honorable dr s r rangnathan that is librarians are the most important element which can not only provide quality support in library but also which can ensure that the reader is satisfied even if the librarian or the library is having a scarcity of finance or resources any type of resources or solution so it is the librarian who has to take some way out that due to, uh, even after the the limitation of resources he or she can provide better support with the services available to him in such situation these online open access solutions are always a uh, um, uh, a sort of ultimate solution with the help of which we can take new initiatives 
in other words we can say that librarian has to take initiatives librarian has to identify alternative ways librarian has to identify what are the available solutions over the internet or over the web with the help of which they can this way or that way satisfy the user in the best possible manner you know when i started my career in in uh, late 90s i i was very much critical and and peep and very much specific you know in those days there was a very common excuse that sir i want to automate the library but our management is not supporting it was a very uh, at that time uh, you know automation softwares were, were coming up cds isis was popular and and in another way uh, we were having uh, this ms access and database management systems type of things and during those days i used to say that okay you don't have automation software which is very costly but you are having cds isis with the help of which you can at least provide some support at least you can showcase your your caliber you can showcase your uh, uh, your your efforts with the help of which you are you are trying to computerize your library services even if you are not having cds isis based support then you are having if you are having computer system you are having ms access or any any similar type of uh, uh, database management system and you can uh, equally you utilize these database management systems for satisfying for for providing starting support for uh, of uh, computerized uh, based library services to your readers so although it was not a very good advice but it was an example for showcasing the caliber of librarian that if he want to do he can he can show an example of computerization it was long back it was in 1990s now at this juncture if we don't have any any specific support of procuring e resources or e solutions in the form of softwares then even then even we can have access of these we can we can facilitate access of these things these solutions but we have to do the mining based task on web we have to identify what are the platforms what are the sources what are the solutions again we have to uh, uh, do this type of uh, process again and again continuously we we will have to identify how will we implement it how can provide uh, how can we provide best possible solution support uh, to our readers through uh, uh, through our uh, our lab our computer lab our system or uh, through a remote access and such type of uh, uh, trust each and every librarian must have because this type of mining is always required and it must be a part of nature of a librarian if librarian is having that that type of feeling if librarian is having that type of approach then without having any any financial support for this extraordinary activity the librarian can showcase his caliber after satisfying the readers as per their own desire so this is not very much relevant for academic librarians and special librarians because they are most of the times they are uh, 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 well supported by their parent organizations but this is very important for public librarian because normally they are not having support this is one thing now what we have to do one thing i told uh, I, one thing i i i told you that uh, uh, continuous mining is important second thing is we have to identify way that how can we connect our reader to 
with these resources how can we how can we uh, showcase them or how can we project them how can we uh, we ensure the access of such resources in a comfortable manner so in the in the we can, we we will have to act like a middleman or like a, a mediator or like a facilitator uh, for connecting uh, uh, people or readers with these types of resources and we have to identify what are the options for cutting getting them connected this is one thing very important we have to do again and again we have to think about it and we have to work on it uh, continuously and then at the same time we have to examine whether whatever support we have established we have provided whether that is uh, providing 100% satisfaction or people people or readers are facing some problem we have to examine it again and again and then again some problems will uh, may may come up and we have to resolve those problems uh, with due course of technological support this is good thing but at the same time we have to identify that what are the special benefits of these open access e resources especially e resources i am saying not solutions not uh, software solutions software solutions i will tell you later but uh, this is what is the benefit of open access e resources that is these are free of cost because of these these resources are free of cost it is not only for you that you are facilitating this support it is beneficial for readers it is beneficial for writers it is beneficial for authors because if one scholar is publishing a paper in these resources a good count of people can access that record can access that article and cite them as much as possible so in the in the other man in the other way we can say that through these resources or uh, with the help of publishing uh, literature in such open access e resources we can have we can achieve or author can achieve better count of citations nowadays previously we were saying like uh, impact factor what is impact factor and how much uh, how many articles you have published in impact factor based journals nowadays we are asking how much uh, how many citations you could achieve so naturally our readers may achieve or writers may achieve more citations with those resources who, who which are accessibly which as accessible uh, free of cost because their readers their their uh, uh, visibility is more secondly these these resources uh, are are comfortably accessible these resources used to publish literature more and more nowadays if uh, we are observing that that these types of open access e resources are having better impact factor even so uh, these are this is uh, these are some examples of open access e resources in terms of open access e solutions like uh, software solutions that is equally good because these types of solutions used to inc in incorporate latest advancement as much as possible because uh, these are uh, uh, anyone can can contribute in their uh, research and development i hope that you have gone through uh, uh, special issues peculiarities and uh, uh, in in uh, in the lectures uh, uh, you have gone through in the past 5 days and i am pretty sure that uh, during these days you must have learned a lot many uh, uh, relating to access of these resources access of these solutions availability of these solutions and how can we use them in our library uh, library systems uh, with the help of these experience i am pretty sure that uh, uh, you will definitely try to improve your library services without asking Uh, more and more money from your parent organizations or your organization or your management so uh, uh, 
it is it is very much timely this topic was very much timely and i i should appreciate uh, vishu bharti shanti niketan nimay ji ajay ji that they have uh, uh, came up with this particular workshop for training uh, for providing you best possible training uh, in in improving the services of your own library and uh, this will definitely support you in future with these few words i am thankful to the organizers who have provided me this opportunity to speak uh, to share my experiences with you thank you